Why hello everybody and welcome back to Small Land. Uh, last time we got started here with the game. Uh, it was our first time jumping in uh, here on release day. Um, and uh, now we are going to be following that up uh, here a day right after. And uh, trying to see if we can uh, continue to explore and learn some more things today about the game. Uh, last time we basically had just wrapped up here in our little house um, with creating a stone cutter. And it looks like we basically have a whole new section of technologies that we have uh, effectively unlocked and we basically need to uh, start finding uh, more stone and uh, some, I believe, flint is another major resource. Um, and a few other random little items here and there uh, so that we can kind of keep progressing through some of the technologies. Um, so, ah, there we go. I have my sensitivity off on my mouse. Um, I think that we might go ahead and uh, leave a few things in our uh, uh, control click, maybe? Wait, where did it go? Did I drop it? I did. How do I just... Ah, it's um, just a right click to quick move. Um, oh, it shows me right down there. Uh, we think we're going to go ahead and just store um, a bunch of our stuff for now. And we might cook up some more of the mushroom, uh, mushroom steaks as a food source. Uh, but I think that is looking... Oh, let's not go in the fire. Uh, but I think otherwise we're looking pretty good. Let's... There we go. We'll cook up the rest of that, come back over here, and we'll throw the rest of our uncooked mushrooms in storage to free up our inventory as much as possible. But it is looking like a absolutely beautiful day today. And we should be off to do some exploring. Uh, now, I was poking around a little bit on the Discord since the last time that we played. I was still trying to avoid spoilers for the most part, um, but I did learn one or two things. Um, and it does seem like, for the most part, trying to get up into some of these trees is going to be a very big part of the game. Um, so, I think here pretty soon we may try climbing one of these trees, kind of going up some of those little mushroomy stairs. Um, but, uh, until then, I think we might come back down to kind of the little beach-like area and seeing what resources we might be able to harvest. Um, and I think the beach was actually kind of further along this way. We won't worry about the ladybugs too much right now. They will be for another time. I did learn a bit more um, about that taming process, and I think we do have to feed them. But I think it's going to be a very specific food. I don't know what it is yet. Um, oh, we left an ant head here. Uh, but I think that we will find it out uh, eventually. Uh, oh, we got ants. Alright, well, that was not too bad. Using our sword is definitely so much better than when we were just trying to bash them with our club. I don't know if it's just because of the increased damage, or if it's a, uh, weapon type kind of thing. Ooh, almost was able to get him before he got me. Uh, that's alright, let's just throw a quick bandage on. And, okay, it looks like we've talked to that owl already. And I think our rocks have, uh grown back? Or we just didn't collect these. Um, 
So let's go ahead and get some more stone because I know that we need it. We have used all of ours so far. And I definitely am going to have my eyes out for flint today. Um, I'm also curious kind of where we are on the map. Okay. So I think our home is like right about there. I'm just going to put... Oh, my caps lock is on. I'm going to put home for now. And we can correct that location later when we actually head back that way. But I'm pretty sure that is about accurate. Um, let's see, ooh, is that? No, those are just sticks. I was concerned that we were coming across a crazy new insect over there, but that is definitely a crazy new insect. Oh, no! All right, we're, we're, we're good at this. One heavy hit from a sword, and these guys are toast. All right, well, back to harvesting. Everyone's favorite activity. Uh, there we go. I was not close enough. There we go. Well, we should be able to make, I think, some good stuff with this by the time I get all this harvested and we go back. This is a good amount of stone. Just gather that. Uh, one thing I also did potentially learn. So I was saying last time how I wish that there was like an auto pickup. And I did put that on the official suggestions. Um, but I think that... Wait, is this a crude hatchet? No, this is a wooden hatchet. That's right. Um, I think that if there's like, uh, like this, we can try, if I hold it down, yeah, you do, so if you hold the key, you can get all of the resources it drops immediately. And what are we dealing with here? The ladybugs are panicking. I don't know what's up. Maybe they're just scared of me. Um, alright, I don't see anything too crazy around here. And you know what? Because we're away from home and not dealing with our local ladybugs, I think that I'm curious if these are going to drop any helpful resources. So, I, I feel a little bad. Oh my, there's a new kind of beetle over here. Um... What are you? And am I too weak to fight you? Sawyer Beetle. All right, let's let's heal for a second. He's definitely winning this fight. Uh, oh, I think because he's good at resisting a sword. Ah, uh, we need to run! I think that's what those indicators mean. Oh, I just missed him. All right, we'll we'll try to finish him off with arrows if he doesn't heal up. I don't know if as soon as he deagros he heals. That's at least how things work in grounded. It's not how it is in raft. Oh, we got him. I think we hit like a weak spot. That was like a 
A critical. <gasps> we got chitin. We need that. And we got beetle sausage and insect fat. I bet that's going to be good for cooking. All right. Well, let's get our bandage going here. And I might eat a little snack as well to push us over that threshold so that we heal due to our our food level. And, uh, man, this water is really rushing downstream here. Uh, oh boy, is that a, like a beehive? That could be interesting in a little bit of a scary way. Wait, can I like just shake stuff off of here? That would be interesting. Um, but I think a chitin hatchet is maybe our next step on the hatchet tree. Uh, we're getting a little low here on arrows. Oh no! A storm is approaching. Um, Alright, and it looks like the ladybug only got us uh, insect fat. It did not give us any uh, any chitin. I was kind of hoping it would. But no such luck. Alright, we should be getting close to home. Not even gonna worry about collecting sprouts and stuff at the moment. And yes, right up here. So once we get here, we can adjust our map marker. Okay. Uh, wait. Those aren't our home torches. Where am I going? I'm going back to the... To the... The burrow. That's not what we want. Home is this way. I think it's like... Right here, or something. Yes! Alright. We have taken shelter. Alright, so how close- Oh, I was- Wait. We're on top of spawn. Interesting. Unless spawn may be, uh changes depending on where your respawn point is. That could make sense. Um, alright, my goodness, it seems wild out there. I, like, want to know what happens if you're not sheltered, but at the same time, that seems a bit scary. Um, okay, so if we find seeds, we can make seed oil. Which is what we need to make the refined wood. Uh, the flint hatchet would be ultimately what we want, but that's where we're going to need the flint. So I don't think that the stone bench is really what we can work with just yet. Um... Ah, there we go, the crude hatchet. So we need more resin and chitin. Resin we actually have plenty of. Uh, it's just in our chest. So chitin is the main thing. Um, and we should make some more arrows while we're here because I am a little bit low. Uh, where does that put us at? We're at 20 wooden arrows. Um, let me grab a little bit of fiber. And let's make those. Wood arrow. Okay, that is a bunch of arrows now. And then let's store some of this 
stuff. Uh, okay, we can't. This is now full. Let me at least... Uh, oh, I just ate the beetle heart. Okay, that's not what I wanted. Well, do I inherit its power now? Um, cool. Can I do anything? It needs a flint hatchet or better for those. Um, oh, I should repair my tools. Um, all right, let's, yeah, let's repair our stuff real quick before we really get going on any more... Uh, any more exploits? Uh, repair. And... Wait, did I... Oh, I just took it out of the hotbar slot. There we go. Do it over here. And that's gonna take just a touch of wood, because it is a little bit extra damaged, but that is okay. Alright, now, are we absolutely sure that ladybugs don't have chitin. Um, all right, well that's two now that have only given us insect fat, so I'm gonna say probably so. Um, let's go this way. Or we could take on another, uh, bull ant. That could be handy. Oh. Nope, nope. Stay where I can see you. Wait, I don't know how to cancel. Ooh, there's berries up ahead. That seems like a good thing to collect. Uh, do I chop it? Can I shoot it? Uh, no. Okay, so we're gonna have to wait till we can chop those down. Unless I can, like, no. I can't jump and pick it. Wait, wood hatchet or better? I have a wood hatchet. It's the other kind of hatchet that we need. All these different hatchets keep uh, confusing me. Oh, we got the uh, forest delight as a recipe. Now, I guess it could be a little bit confusing that it's telling us to cook it at the cauldron when my name is Cauldron. And I'm not just saying that as, like, you know, YouTuber named Cauldron. But, like, we named our character in-game Cauldron. Um, alright, what else we got? Ooh, more rocks. Let's do it. I love that the mushrooms in general just kind of glow. Uh oh, uh oh. Are those spiders? Uh, let's make a torch if we can. Uh, we don't have enough wood or resin. Perfect. Um, that's the resin. Uh, any wood. Ah. Now can I make it? No, I need more resin. So there's all that stuff under- Oh, that's because I think this is where we spawn initially. Um... Okay, we already got that resin. Ha! 
All right, crafting torch. Uh, we'll put that here for the moment, and there we are. Now we can see what we're doing. We'll do a little bit of nighttime exploration. Can't be that bad, right? It's a dawn ant. Oh, oh, you guys are, you guys actually are kind of scary. Haha, <laughs> but we got you. Uh, anything else fun over here? Oh, more dawn ants, okay. All right, that's too many. All right, uh, that's, yeah, that's, that's a sign that we need to go home so we can get some healing supplies. So we are most definitely weak. We also don't have any protection on our armor. So, I think maybe tomorrow we should go talk to uh, our captain-y guy. And uh, maybe take care of that. Alright, let's put our torch away. And we need bandages. And how much other fiber do we have? Uh, that's in here. Okay, we got a decent amount. Uh, did I put... Yeah, we've got our insect fat in here. Let's maybe put... Insect and food things for now in this chest. And we'll try to get on top of the, uh organization early. And yeah, I think we can hold on to the rest of that for now. And I think we can just keep making some bandages. All right. That's pretty good. We'll eat a little mushroom. And let's go ahead and fall into a deep slumber. Okay, it is a new day. And a storm approaches, seek shelter. Oh, man. Alright, well, is there anything else we should do while we're inside? Um, not a whole lot. Uh, I guess I am curious. Is there anything else here? Nothing new on building. Uh, no, interactive is what I wanted. A cauldron is gonna take refined wood. If we can get a cauldron made, that would be nice for some food production. But we're gonna have to figure out how to get the proper seeds. Uh, for that to happen. And I still don't think, yeah, there's gonna be anything here that we can do. Well, I guess that we're stuck waiting out the storm. Hopefully that doesn't become too regular of a thing. Like, in concept, it's a cool survival thing, but if it's always just, like, 
you have to go sit inside your house for a while. That could be a little bit annoying. Okay, we can finally go outside again. Hello, ladybugs. They were having to take shelter, too. All right. Well, given our mushroom source uh, of food looks just a little low, uh, I think we will chop some mushrooms as well as go get some armor. Um, I think we are going to need more fiber. Um, so I think taking any uh, sprouts out on our way back to the captain will be important. And uh, might grab more resin just because it did seem like we needed that for a couple things. Basically, we just need all the resources. You know, we're still early on. It's easy to run out of things. All right, where did the mushrooms go? Hopefully I got them. Yeah, being able to do the hold down trick to collect like everything, it's better than what I was doing, but it still isn't great. Um, definitely will be better if they could just have like let me tap it and just run over the resources and pick them up just kind of like magnet into my character or if you just tap it and they just automatically go in your inventory that would also be fine because just that little bit of a delay is surprisingly Annoying. Wait. Can I? I, I? This is this is mean. Oh. But like, what do I get? Insect eggs. Uh, where did the butterfly go? Did it fall down here? Did it drop anything? It looked like it dropped stuff. We're gonna. Okay, so that did hurt. I be. I was curious how far I was allowed to fall before getting hurt. Oh, hello. We are good. I, they uh, they implemented the ants just being able to climb up and get you very well. That's that's cool. Um, definitely makes them a bit more dangerous than I'm used to in in grounded, but a little bit more like realistic. I like it. Alright, well hopefully with all of the fiber we've been gathering here, we can get a bit of armor, and that way we can have some protection, because we've definitely, while like, not, we haven't been like super close to death or anything. Um, oh, we missed an owl statue. Could have sworn we got this. Small folk are resourceful people. Tools, weapons, and food can be crafted out of the materials of the overland. Find crafting recipes to learn how to craft new items. Typically, you'll need a crafting station to craft new items, but every vanguard knows how to craft some basic tools and weapons without a workbench. Open the crafting menu with G to see which items you can craft from the get-go. All right, that was a little tutorial -y spot we missed. Um, but all right. Let's see what you can make us, sir. Um, I think that we maybe want the more armory armor. 
Okay, and we can get the full set, it looks like. So let's equip the arms, legs, and torso. And we only have 21 fiber left. I was going to say we could maybe have him just give us the other set of armor too, but I think that we will hold off on that for now. Alright, uh, so let's go back down to our new place, because I don't think there's too much more we can get to from up there. Well, maybe there is. Is there anything we can do if we go this way? Not really. That is one big drop-off. All right. That's good to know. All right. Well, let's head back home-ish. And home is right through here. All right. Is it sleep time yet? Not quite. Uh, anything else I need to make? Not really. Let's go ahead and repair everything. Drop off a few more supplies. Uh, yeah, we can drop off our extra armor. And let's make some more mushrooms. Oh, if I had that beetle heart still, we could have made some sausage. That would have been fun. Alright, and then there's a bunch more mushroom steaks. Uh, perfect. And maybe we can go find something else to get us more chitin, because I think that that might... Uh, let us keep doing some stuff. Don't you think, ladybugs? Alright, um, shoot, I guess I should have gone this way. Uh, oh, there is an owl statue. Maybe we should go over to the glowy stump. That seems like a good idea. We'll grab materials along the way. What have you to say? When you dismantle the structure, all the materials used when it was originally built will be dropped and appear as collectible loot. Damaged structures can be repaired at no cost. That is a very nice feature. Um, I understand, like, there can be reasons for wanting to implement, like, a cost of saying, like, well, you built it, now you're gonna have to deal with the consequences if you need to rebuild. But, as someone who really enjoys building, I do appreciate having that flexibility if you realize halfway through a build, wait, I need to rework this, that you don't waste all your resources. Bows. Use bows and arrows to hit creatures from afar. Already been doing it. This can be partially, particularly effective against flying creatures. To use a bow, you must have both the bow and arrows equipped. Draw your bow, holding uh, left click, and release it to shoot the arrow. Different bows have different characteristics. Some are more accurate and powerful than others. For maximum strength and accuracy, be sure to fully draw the bow. All of that makes sense and is basically what we have been doing so far. Thought I saw a beetle down there for a second, but I am just crazy. Um, just keep following the path. All right, small folk believe owls possess magical powers and worship them as some kind of divinity. 
Idols, statues, and decorations are crafted in their honor. Um, well, hopefully this owl won't get mad that I'm stealing its offering. Um, cause I'm going to. Uh, okay. So, our little house should be somewhere, like, right over there. I think that little glowy spot, like, right there might be it. Uh, sadly, we don't have something like a peeper in this, at least that I know of, to be able to kind of zoom in on it, but... Is this, like, moss anything we can do anything with? Maybe not. going on down here. That, oh, oh, grasshopper. Oh no, it moved. Got it on the ropes. There we go. What do you have for us? An insect leg, a, er, a grasshopper leg, and an insect egg. And is this like a cave? If I bring my torch out, can we go in here? No, that's a shame. Uh, ooh, a poisonous mushroom. Uh, okay. Um, we'll take another bottle cap. We can at least make tables with them. Um, and I'll just keep kind of harvesting for now. Actually, I think we can go get that mushroom. I think that just said a wooden... Uh, let's try pull that back out. Yeah. Well, I have no idea what we'll be using a poisonous mushroom for. But you know, we'll at least have it around. So here's a bunch of other normal mushrooms. Oh, I can't jump on them. I was going to try to use them to get up there. What do you take? Rye. Harvest. What's rye for? Uh, fiber and seeds! Oh, oh, we got a big ant. It says swords are good against them. Uh, did we get any more mandibles? Oh, I don't think we did. That's alright. Uh, let's see if he was guarding anything else fun. Still need crude hatchets for all of that. We've got, I think that's another bull ant here. All right. Yep, there we go. This time we got the mandible. 
Uh, I should probably bandage up. And let's also eat a bite. And is this... No, I can't harvest this. What is it? Hedge garlic. That's where we get the garlic leaf. Alright. Well, there's lots of good sprouts, like, right here. And a good variety of resources. Is there a way up this tree? I don't actually see a way up this one. Darn, I was gonna say, like, maybe this is a tree that we could live in. At least long term. Again, I know we've got a base started over there, but... Again, it's kind of... Ooh, this is the guy. This is the guy that had... The chitin. Where did he go, though? That's a dragonfly. Ha 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 ha! Uh, hopefully I can get out of here. Um, but where did I- I, I swear I saw the- bug that had the chitin shell also right around here. Um, I guess we're just gonna go down and find out. Oh, there he is. go. Sick. Fat. There we go. Another beetle heart, too. Alright, there's our second piece of chitin. Two more, and we can get an axe upgrade. Uh, ooh, I think that might be more rye. Uh, yep. Wood hatchet or better. Well, with this we can get more seeds. Alright. Uh. Oh gosh, what are you? Oh, there's so many! No! Oh my gosh, that was a lot of the ants. Alright, well that's fine. Let's, uh, let's sleep through the night. Don't mind the fact that I'm invisible. Um, let's repair all of our stuff. Uh, oh, that needs wooden resin. Uh, that's okay. Hopefully we don't need a torch. Uh, a storm approaches. You gotta be kidding me. We're gonna try to go for it, because last time it took forever for the storm to get here. And I'm impatient. So, oh, I thought those were ant bodies for a second. So I think my stuff should just be in a pile. Yes! Ah, 
I'm very cold. Okay, so that's what happens in the storm then. That's good to know. Well, let's warm up. And I guess we just have to wait the storm out. I think we will make a quick mushroom steak. Okay, well now the storm is over. Yeah, if that happens like every time I sleep, I'm really liking most of this game, but that's gonna get really annoying. Okay. Well, let's go get our gear. Uh, no, we don't need to go that way. Uh, maybe we kind of do. But we can jump off here. Hello, grasshopper. Okay, and we've got the bull ants to deal with. Wait, why did it just get, like, really dark? Hey, you! Oh, there's another, uh, chitin beetle. Right over there, uh, Sawyer beetle, I believe, is the, their actual name. And then something's growling over here. Um, alright, I think this was our last gravestone, so let's grab all that stuff. Let's grab all that stuff. And we're in pretty good shape. Alright, so anything that was that we picked up since is no longer stacked properly. That is good to note. This is when either like an auto sort option would be really helpful or something along those lines. Uh, no, I don't have any more grasshopper legs. I do have more bull ant mandibles. Um, like, I want to go back here pretty soon, but I basically wanted to know, can I go take on this beetle? Oh, and he just turns. Take your insect fat and your chitin and your heart. Um, alright, are there any more of you hanging around? I hear things for sure. Um, let's. Oh, we can't really eat more. Can I put a bandage on? That would be nice. Something's making some weird noises over here. Oh my gosh, this log has so many mushrooms. If I cross this... Ooh, yeah, we could get over to, like, Caleb. Caleb. Oh my gosh, and that's like a full plot blah, blah, pond down there. Oh, I see another Sawyer beetle. Oh, but there's, like, hornets. 
Uh, we're gonna have to be careful. Uh, that's a bottle. Okay. If I drop down here, yes, he's up there. Oh, that's them that make the noise. Hey, no backing up like that, man. going. Oh no, now other bugs are in on the fight. Alright. Hey, it's bright and we can see again. Oh, hey there, buddy. Sorry, I didn't mean it. Oh, we're running and we're running and we're running and we're running. Oh no, last time going down a cliff worked. Okay. Alright, this place is very threatening. I just want to take out the Sawyer bug. Can't you let me do that in peace, ants? Alright, get me my bow. Now where did it go? There it is. Now this is some better positioning. It's gonna just crawl up the wall. Ah, <laughs> but not before I take it out. Oh no, there's another! Oh no, there's another! He's coming for revenge! Just give me all the chitin and I'm out of here. was almost a really good a really good snipe shot there um all right all right we've we've done oh we've done our panicked hunting now let's see if i can get us home now before i do can i get that crude hatchet oh that's the garlic okay well that's some good exploration done this log is very helpful and would get us to that tree. Ah, uh, yes, and there is our owl statue. And then, oh, that's a big jump. Ouch. Hopefully nothing's after me. Uh, is this the rye? Uh, yes. Let's go ahead and grab a little bit more while we're here. Alright. Grab that seed and... One more for good measure. Good deal. 
think I will let this grasshopper live this time. And we will just try to make it home. And then soon we need to potentially choose a proper base building site. Because again, if, if we're going to be getting a bunch of additional, like, workstations, um, our... Okay, you can just keep going, that's fine. Uh, our little tiny temporary first night hut is not going to cut it for long. But it's at least what we have to work with for now. And I am happy to see it. Still standing in one piece. Okay. My goodness. Uh, wait, we have the six chitin. What are you upset about? Oh, I need more resin. I can take care of that. Okay, crude hatchet. There we are. And boom. Uh, let's see, I should probably repair everything. There we go. And is there anything else we need to build in here? Um, replenishing bandages is a must. Uh, wood hatchet, crude hatchet, wood sword, simple bow, mandible pickaxe, torch, wood arrow, fire arrow, grasshopper scythe. Um, grasshopper's legs can be finely sharpened. So is that a weapon? Or a tool. I'm guessing that's a weapon. So I just need some refined wood for that. Very interesting. Um, Alright, so for this stuff... We can now make seed oil. And I don't think I need seeds for anything else. So we're just going to make all the seed oil. And... Make a good amount of refined wood. And see where that gets us. Um, well, we can make a stone spear. Which looks like it would be pretty good for pierce damage. 10 to 14. Our other best weapon... So the bow does 12 to 14, but obviously once an insect gets up close, the bow isn't that great. Um, so this would be stronger than our sword, but a different kind of damage anyway. Um, obviously a flint spear would be better, but we can't do that. So let's go ahead and just make it. And is there... Greater Stamina Tonic. Um, oh, and a Reeker, but whoa, 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 whoa. I need Silk Thread for a Recurve Bow. Well, how do I... How do I... How... Oh, man. Well, that would be exceptional. Um, okay. Well, something else that I wanted to check out was... Let's see if we can build anything different. Does it look like the building structures have changed? Um, but can we make the cauldron yet? I need more stone. I do have some more stone. Anything else? Oh, and one thing I also want to try, what happens if I make a stone brick that takes flint? So that answers that question. Um, okay, I think that I want to make a cauldron. And that goes right over... Uh, 
campfire? What? Why is it grumpy now? Because, like, I got it there. Uh. Huh? I'm confused. Oh, I think because I'm, like, literally putting it in the wall. Interesting. Um, and I need bark to make an apothecary table. Flint for the tannery. Okay, I think that's everything interesting. What can we do here? Um, a boiled poisonous mushroom, uh, which makes it edible. Okay. Fey chowder. Helps with cold protection. Couple of jams. Forest delight. And a grasshopper treat. So this would be to give to a grasshopper, I'm guessing, to tame it? So I would imagine that at some point we would get, like, a, a ladybug treat. Um, oh wait, this kit... Includes a special treat to tame a ladybug. So maybe I literally just make this in order to tame a ladybug. Uh, I don't know. Well, let's put some stuff away real quick. Alrighty, well, I ended up having to make an additional uh, chest there. But I think we've got everything nicely put away. Um, so I think it is time, sadly, to wrap up the episode. Um, we, uh, we made lots of good progress today, lots of good materials, and uh, we've got our nice chitin axe here to show for it. That thing is pretty. Um, so, I think that in our next outing, uh, not only are we going to be able to use this bad boy to chop down uh, a bunch of new materials that we were not yet able to acquire so far, um, but I want to keep doing a bit more exploring, um, and maybe, and uh, like, again, I, I said we would try to climb a tree today, that didn't end up happening, um, but... Maybe we we start searching for a spot where we want to set up a more permanent home. Um, I don't want to really do that until we have at least one more building material to work with. Because um, it seems like right now all that we can do is grass. Um, but once we can get um, like sticks or stones or something uh, that we can build uh, more structures with... Uh, I would really like to get um, a proper base build going. And uh, we'll still leave this little place here. Uh, I think it'd be wise... Oh, hello, ladybug. Sorry, I was in your way. Uh, I think it'd be wise to have a few little locations where we can have uh, some shelters, given how those storms will pop up and uh, we have to race to shelter or basically freeze to death. So, um, anyway, if you did enjoy today's video, going through a bit more of small land, doing some exploration, and, uh, getting a few new resources to level up, um, our character, uh, please be sure to drop a like on the video. Uh, it'll help the video to be shared with more people through the YouTube algorithm and help them to discover the series. 
Um, otherwise, make sure that you guys are subscribed so that you will be notified when the next video drops. And I will see you all very soon with some more Small Land.